the national programs picked up on it. Now it's actually going to be a national effort. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's and exciting. how does this work? What exactly um, does well, it do? In each community, um, the law enforcement have a day, and that'll be announced because it's going to go national, which is just too exciting. You know, right. it's really a great thing. Um, and you bring your unused, unwanted, um, and expired, and expired, yeah. yeah, okay, drugs, and drop them off. And you think to yourself, well, you know, why don't I just uh, wash it down the drain? But it, <laughs> no, no. The, the actually, the statistics this past year, law enforcement collected 9,000 pounds, over 9,000 pounds. And those are chemicals that go right into the environment. Right. Right. So, no, we, we don't want to do that. We don't want right. to do that. Exactly. So they were disposed of properly. Yes. And that they, was the best thing mm -hmm. about it. And they were off wow. the streets. <laughs> yes, they were off the streets because that's a part of exactly. what the partnership mm -hmm. helps uh, people to understand. There's right. a one, if you go to the website, I'm going to mm -hmm. plug that website oh, okay. because it is just fabulous. Right. Go to the website and the thing that you'll see right away is an older woman. Right. A more wise woman, a saged woman, not uh -huh. aged, uh -huh. saged. Uh -huh. And um, it says, who knew Granny had a stash? Right. Right. And you think, duh, yeah. yeah. But we're not thinking of that we're as, not as thinking an active exactly. drug use. No, we're not yeah. thinking that. And right. it's, it's hard to put our minds, wrap our minds around it, but right. we need to do that. The mm -hmm. education mm -hmm. helps us do it mm -hmm. and understand it's, um, it's right. a situ it, it is a situation that puts our children exactly. at risk. Right. And that's why Project... Um, medicine cabinet mm -hmm. was so successful. Very innovative. And very innovative. Very, uh, right. And um, in our town, our uh, seniors, we work with them on issues for mm -hmm. seniors. So it's not just the youth. We also work right. with our seniors. And we will be uh, advertising again and helping them to uh, get involved right. in okay. this particular project, which went national. Excellent. Uh, November 13th, I believe that's 2010. That's a, okay, right? great. Yep. Great, mark yeah. your calendars. And, you know, as we were saying earlier, ideally this would be something offered more frequently because right. I, have, right. yeah. I right. strongly suspect, mm -hmm. although 9,000 pounds sounds right. like a tremendous amount mm -hmm. for it the does. state, yeah. I think that's probably the tip of the iceberg. We right. all have yeah. expired medication, right. even if it's just expired yeah. over-the-counter aspirin right. and things, right? Those, yeah, exactly. That can also be going. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, now, yeah. you know, Jenna, if I can talk to you a little bit. We, mm -hmm. We've been talking about education mm -hmm. and reaching out to kids and other adults. I think as a parent, although mm -hmm. I don't have a teenager at the moment, I'm always sort of looking for this guidance. It's right? good to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me 10 years, I'll be there, right? right? Um, what are some things, and, you know, maybe we can start a little bit more with the youth. What are okay. some things that you think kids need to know? You know, I think there's a perception mm -hmm. perhaps amongst kids that, oh, well, everybody does that, so we do that. And, and that, A, that's not necessarily the case. Definitely it not, not the right. case. Not the case. Okay. Um, we do have uh, folks that may say, well, all the kids are doing it, or even youth, if they're offered something, oh, well, they're doing it, I'm going to do it. Right. But it's not true. Right. We have youth that are um, drug free, substance right. free, alcohol free, and that's good to know. But we need them to know that if they're offered those things, mm -hmm. it's okay to say no. It's okay to say no. We have people in our communities that will offer. And Absolutely. we want them to know they need to take their best interests for their self, their families. And that's why it's so important for parents to talk to children. Mm -hmm. But the youth need to know that if they can't talk to their parents, which mm -hmm. they probably can, and just haven't tried or may not. May, it, it, yeah. It's, it's it, easier than they may think. It right? may be. Yeah. Um, but there are adults in the communities, in their high schools, student assistance counselors, their family doctors. Right. And if not, there are also, they can, everybody has the internet or access at a library or school. Mm -hmm. They can Google hotlines, anonymous hotlines, where they still can talk to a trustworthy individual. Right. adults or youth that may be experiencing what they're experiencing. So we need them to know that there's always help for them out there. Right. You, you referenced earlier a website in particular that I mm -hmm. believe was it StartTalkingNJ.org. Start start okay, StartTalkingNJ.org. So, yes, that would be okay. a resource for parents if they need help with starting conversations, yes. if it's something that they're not used to, but if they want to become involved in mm -hmm. or increase in talking with their parents because back to the partnership, yep. they do state that if parents mm -hmm. talk to their children, mm -hmm. the children are 
percent less likely to start using marijuana. So, and That's marijuana sometimes statistic. is known as a gateway drug. So, right. we want to prevent that yeah. first use again. That's the, that's so the that's greatest so important. statistic, isn't yeah. it? 67 yeah, 67 is. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. Now, what would you suggest for parents? Okay, we're telling kids, right. try to talk. Talk to How someone. How do parents start that conversation if that's not mm. something that they've done? Well, there <clears> are <throat> tips on the, on the web start, okay. starttalkingnj.org. Okay. And we ask parents to get to know the friends. Very know important. your child's habits. Right. If the habits or the friends change, we need to talk a little more. Mm -hmm. You know, we okay. need to know those things. It may be uncomfortable, mind you. It may be uncomfortable for the young person mm -hmm. or the parent. Right. But it's so important right. to know that we need to stick together as uh, caring folks about each other because sometimes mm -hmm. it's not only the parents. It's mm -hmm. our concerned teachers or mm -hmm. community right. members. Right. So we want to have that dialogue with our <coughs> youth and we want them to be listened to. So right. even when they're talking, we want to listen. Right. So we want parents to be able to know the friends, know the children's okay. habits or another relative's habits um, and mm -hmm. also be able to talk, be able to listen, right. be able to give some unconditional love. Because we all make mistakes. <laughs> indeed, indeed, you know. indeed. That's right. That's right. Um, you know, there were some other national resources, I think, Janet, that maybe we wanted to share. Yeah, well, we did refer to the Partnership for Drug Free New Jersey, which okay. is drugfreenj.org. Okay. And a lot of their things are sponsored by the Partnership for Drug Free America. Okay. So that they also have a website. Um, okay. And uh, the website at the Partnership uh, for Drug Free New Jersey also has free resources. Okay. And as many budget cuts as we're hearing about yep. now, yep. it's good to know that mm -hmm. we still have good free resources in okay. the communities. Mm -hmm. So the Partnership for Drug Free New Jersey has what we call a 15-minute child break. Yeah. which really helps educate parents awesome. on the drugs that are out there, the slang terms. As you mentioned, oh, when crack cocaine okay. came out, you know, it was new. Right. And as soon as we find out things, slang happens. Right. <laughs> you know, I even have to ask youth about, well, what does that mean? Right. And it's okay right. because we're yes. talking. That's I'm right. Yes. The I door need is to open. know what that means. Yeah, I need right. to. I don't understand what that means. And right. they may laugh. It's okay to be laughed That's okay. At, you yeah. know? Yeah. Well, and I laugh at myself that? because sure. I don't know the the, yes. the slang terms or the the new things that are coming out. But I really praise the partnership about keeping up on the slang terms, coming up with the changes, and being right. able to get that free service out to the communities, any community groups, right. parent groups. Uh, any companies. Right. So it's really good to know that we have those things here in New Jersey. Right. Mm -hmm. And Jeanette, as a right. representative, you are available to speak to different groups as well? Yeah, the partnership that, has, very, to, uh, has a lot of speakers. Yes, okay. we have uh, them all over different counties. And they will, if you contact the office, then they'll be able to help you uh, get set up everything for you, have right. materials, free materials for Excellent. the participants. And that's Excellent. really a great thing to have. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we will um, certainly have all of those resources okay, available good, on our website. We had the partnership come and do the 15-minute child break to educate okay. our municipal alliance. Uh -huh. It was wonderful. You Excellent. just you just Excellent. can't be on top of it enough. Uh, right? That's right. Absolutely. And all of us. It's yeah. fabulous. Well, thank you, and thank you both so much for mm -hmm. joining us. Oh, um, we really appreciate the information. Mm -hmm. We'll have all of the resources posted on our website, um, and that is MiddlebrookHealth.org along with um, a video of today's program as well. So thanks very much for watching. drugfree.org.